can you give us your best Gandalf impression? No, Frodo. A wizard arrives precisely when he means to. Can you give us your best Jesus impression? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Wayne? Hi. Uh, what? What's, What's up, up Way Nation? Nation? I'm Gavin from The Wally Show, joined by M Mike, Mike Donahue. Donna he, who? He, he, he. He. And today we're doing a this or that based on the Bible or Tolkien. What is your level of Bible knowledge and Lord of the Rings knowledge? Well, I feel like growing up in Christian school <laughs> might give me an edge on my Bible knowledge. Okay. Tolkien, you know, I know Lord of the Rings, I know The Hobbit, but he's got a lot of other he does. books and things around those that I never read. So why don't we get right into it? This will be the first one. Four heroes separated, two sailed away while the other two went into enemy territory by foot. I'm really confident <laughs> from the get-go, okay. personally. Well, this could be Joshua and Caleb and the Old Testament stuff. Oh, I see. Stuff. Sailed away, though. I know. This, uh, this. I mean, Frodo and Sam, yeah. they sail away. Yep. And the other two, Mary and Aragorn. Pippin. Oh. Well, no, it's Aragorn it and, um, you're gonna have to touch me. Gimli. Uh, yeah, Gimli. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say, I, I think it's that. I, I do, too. We're gonna go Lord of the Rings. What? That is correct. Sailed away. It is correct. It Get out of here. It is the Poland Barnabas split, Max. Oh. Who's read that? <laughs> oh. Hopefully. Enemy territory is a subjective word because wait, 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 you're in the Bible, with the Bible, there is no enemy territory. It's all the Lord's. Thus, we are correct. Next question. Okay. The chosen one leads an army of spirits against the enemy. Okay, so oh. this also is Aragorn in Return of the King. Yes. He comes back with the goose. The goose. Against the enemy. Also a subjective term. I'm gonna say Tolkien. I do agree with this. Gonna go Tolkien? Okay, good. And this time it's correct, yep. <laughs> a tattooed man on a white horse leads an army into battle against the forces of evil. Having tattoos, oh, I've yes. referenced this many times, that in Revelation, Jesus has uh, the name King of Kings tattooed on his thigh or written on his thigh, and some have suggested that it's tattooed there. Okay, and I don't know a lot about Tolkien tattoo I, I don't remember a lot stuff. of tattoos, so I think this is Jesus. Okay. I think it's the Bible. Holy Bible? Okay. Yes! Good. All right. Finally, you got your questions correct. <laughs> a group makes it over the mountains into Ooh. a new land, but were forced to go a different way because they thought inhabitants were terrifying. Now this, could be very Lord of the Rings, Misty Mountains, running They're away from- They're up the pass, and then they have to go back down. The could, inhabitants were terrifying. That's interesting. Could this be like Abraham, as he's entering the land that God promised him, or Exodus-related stuff, where they are entering into the promised land, but it's actually giants? I think this is a trick question, and it's Bible. Bible. Oh, See, trick good question. twist. I see what they're doing now. The creator brings forth life through song. Okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I, it has to be the Bible. There's a part of me that remembers that Tolkien wrote the Silmarillion. There was a kind of God-like figure in that one. Could be that. Now, so through song, in Genesis, God just speaks. Yes. So maybe the song is Tolkien. Let's it's go Tolkien. Tolkien. That is correct. Yay, yeah, nicely done! A sorceress summons a ghost to gather information for a king. Could that be a psalm, in essence? I think that's Saul. I think oh, Saul really? sees a sorceress, and I think it's they call for they call up Samuel. I'm gonna say it's Saul, okay. and it's the Bible. I've got nothing to argue against that. Let's go Bible. That's correct. Nice. Christian well school! <laughs> Our hero narrowly escapes from the caves with his life and snags a piece of his tormentor's cloak as a prize. Now this almost feels so fiction-y, but it also feels similar to Saul and this David. Is, this is David and Saul. Yes. He comes out with a piece of his cloak because exactly. his servants say, the Lord has delivered Saul to your hand, you should kill him. And David says, I won't lift my hand against the Lord's anointed. So I think it's David and Saul. In the Bible? In the Bible. That is correct. Yes. All right, well done. Crushed it. Crushed it. 
Okay. A bear almost kills a group of lads. Turns out he was really a man. That's gotta be Tolkien. I don't. There's a story about Elijah or Sha. And there, and he the sings the song about you know bring out these bears. Bring Ooh. out these bears. Or, what are you talking about? What you talking about? Isn't isn't there a song, isn't there a song about like an Elisha calling someone gets made of made fun of for being bald and he calls yes, out bears? But he doesn't sing a song about bears, does he? We don't know that. I like that. <laughs> I like the idea. Um, Do you want to go Bible or? Tolkien, well, there's though. nothing in that where it turns out he was really a man. I know, that's what makes me not want to go by. This has to be Tolkien. Let's go Tolkien. Yes. <laughs> Spirits torment a man drawn to the evil he possesses. What? Does that give you kind of biblical vibes? Because I'm not thinking of any spirits taking over characters in anything in Tolkien. But I don't, the drawn to the evil he possesses. Which is like innate in us as human beings. And I feel like we talk about that in the Bible. I think it's Tolkien. Let's go Tolkien. Right. Oh. The Nazgul chasing Frodo trying to take the one ring. That's a Nazgul reference? Drawn to the evil, see, he possesses the, ring. the rings. Yep. See, okay, All right. I, I like that. Beautiful. I already know this one. A king oh. goes crazy and lives among the animals for a year, but then comes to his senses and returns home, which is a reference to Nebuchadnezzar. Okay, I remember this. See, Easy. Fingernails get long like an animal. Ew. Okay. Nailed it. All right. A man gets greedy for power, so the ground opens up and swallows him and all his followers. Also the Bible. Oh. That's like the sons of Kadosh or uh, Korah. Sons of Korah. Okay. Well, yeah! Right, sons Mike. of Korah. Is it Korah? Yes. Yes! yes! All right, and this is our last one. A friend immune to the temptations of evil will always be there for you if you just call for him. Does this feel Gandalfy to you? It well, it feels both Gandalfy. It's like the eagles yep. who come to Frodo's aid, save him in the end. But this could also mean Jesus. I think Jesus is more immune to the temptations of evil than a eagle. Oh, he absolutely is. I I think this is a reference to Jesus. All right, let's go for the Bible. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> how is that not Jesus? A friend, Jesus, immune to the temptations of evil, Jesus, who will always be there for you if you just call. Guys, we need this to be exclusively one or the other. This feels like a both and. So that means we have 12 for 12. There we go. Crush it. You actually missed one at the first one. Which was also the wrong answer that you guys gave. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give us 12 out of 12. Way to go. If you say so. Well, let us know how you thought we did. We thought we got 12 out of 12, but what do you think? How'd you do? Because there's no way you got 12 out of 12, Ooh. like we did. Ooh. They're trying to tell us we didn't. 12 out of 12, <laughs> we're awesome. Leave your comments in the comment section. <laughs> if you would like to see more fun this or that videos like this one, then hit the subscribe button right here.